Hello, everybody. Welcome to Resident Evil. I am Jackson Tyler. This is the Let's Play. Uh, this is going to be a short episode today. I mean, I think I've said that every time, but it's definitely going to be a short episode today because... Uh, we need those. Uh, this is making me anxious, this game, and I'm going to try to do shorter play sessions and maybe do two per save point. We'll see. Uh, but this game is too much for me to play in a short and a longer amount of time. Even though nothing scary has actually happened. Uh, that is a way to... You can refuel with kerosene. I didn't realize that wasn't part of the background. Let's refill my fuel canteen. Okay, so... Uh, how many do I take? Okay, I get four zombies burned from that thing. So let's go burn the zombies that are the most worrisome, I guess. Right, there's none there. Head upstairs. Oh, that was menacing. Whew. Uh, I did a quick look at a walkthrough, but I couldn't tell. I know, I know, I need to get into the oh, wrong. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, I know I need to get into the um, balcony, second floor, and do that puzzle before I can do the armor. Uh, get the armor key. Uh, I need a specific false key. Hey, that means that I don't have any use for this, and I can discard it immediately. I can, I can disc Why did I choose to not discard it? Whatever. Hopefully there won't be any items I need to I need to take. Do 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 uh, I know you can hear zombies when there's zombies around, so I'm not too nervous about that. I actually don't so I was thinking about it. I was thinking about why does this game make me so scared? Uh or why does any scary thing make me so scared? I know it's because it's meant to, and that's like a deliberate part of its design and its atmosphere and everything. But on the other hand, like you would think knowledge would take that away, and it does to some extent. But like now that I know about Crimson Heads and exactly how to protect against them, I am more terrified of them, despite the fact they're probably not that scary. Right. Not from the other side, so I'm going to get from the other side. How do I get out? How do... That? Right. I see another... I see another way around. It's this way. Right, are there any zombies down here? I can hear one. Oh, he's the guy I was ignoring. He's just a normal, regular zombie that I can just run past. Which is what I should have done for all of them, but I didn't. I'm a fool. Okay, where is it? Oh no, I didn't need to. It's in this room. Yeah, okay, so it's that one. And then it's to the left. Okay. Whew. Staying calm. Trying to stay calm. So there, that's that's a door. Use the lockpick. Hey, I made it outside. I'm there. I did it. That's a puzzle almost solved. Well, not solved, I guess, but... Go back around. Let's unlock the door. Do 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 do. Okay, so we made it to the balcony. We know where that is. We know what's going on with that. That thing. Is there anything that can be interacted with? That's the mouse. Um. But yes. Okay. So there's. Oh, because there's the hub there, of course. 
There's nothing else here. Some kind of thorny plant you've not seen before. Okay, but aside from that, I can open. I can go there, I guess. But nope, nothing there. Let's go back inside. <sighs> I'm going between today and playing this and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's a that's that that's a couple of games there. That's a real match. Um, it's that way. That's the way you want to go. All right. The angles are confusing. Confusing. Armor key for that one. Where am I? Oh, it's it's. I went too far. In that screen. There we go. I like the pre-rendered backgrounds. I like the fixed camera angle thing. Uh, I think it does a really good job of making me on edge as well because it doesn't give me control of my perspective. Um, your choice of whether or not to look at something is like the most important part of agency you can have in a horror game, or uh, not even a horror game, just a game in which there is an element of scares. Like, Resident Evil 4 is all about turning, at least in the first, in the village, it's about turning really, really wide-angled corners to see whether or not you're going to be okay. Uh, let's go in there. Let's drop that uh, key we don't need off, and let's go burn some bodies. There are more than four zombies around, but I, 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 um, uh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, so we'll burn the bodies and then we'll go back up to the, the, the thing and blow the whistle. Wait, do we have the whistle? We didn't take the whistle with us. Um. What we will do is we'll leave behind some handgun ammo. No, we'll take the handgun ammo? Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Um, I like having the shotgun just in case I run into a crystal, crystal skull, crimson head. Uh, I guess I can leave the knife behind. I'm not gonna be using that. All right, I don't like that. Uh, dog whistle, cool. Here we go. Yes, let's leave. It hasn't fallen apart yet, has it? Okay. There's something about the moments of silence in between, like just the just the door open. Oh, it's just ah, oh, it's just too much for me. Like I, I keep looking at my shadow and thinking it's something else. Oh, huh? That shadow, my shadow. I'm now staring at my shadow, and my shadow is making me this. Blah, blah 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 blah. I'm suddenly very nervous of something else. Alright. I'm gonna burn this body. I'm gonna burn this body right. Actually no, because I never need to go into this room again, do I? So there's no need to burn this body. But it hasn't turned yet. But I don't need to go into that room. I can go through the top. Uh, wait, what's the thing that I didn't get from... I thought that... Okay. So let's not burn that body, because I never need to go into this room again. I thought that the hallway was finished now, but apparently not. Okay, that room is finished, all those rooms are finished. Um, I'm gonna go burn the body outside this room. And I'm gonna go burn the body. Okay, here we go. 
it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If it's if it's already a zombie, if it's already a thing, I'll just shoot it with the shotgun that I have. It's not even going to be scary. I just I just don't know what it is yet. Okay, it's fine. Let's burn that body. See, there you go. Alright, what about that one? That one's fine. I'm gonna leave that one because that's the first zombie I killed. So, I feel like if that one hasn't turned, the other ones won't turn, but I can't be sure of that. I'm definitely getting rid of the one up top here. Because that's the one before the armor key room, that's the one that I'm very nervous about turning. It's the one I keep thinking already has turned. Um, hopefully it hasn't yet. Oh, the thing I'm nervous about that I said I, uh, wasn't. Burn it, burn it, burn it! I was right! I was totally right! Oh god. After all that, after all me thinking I was wrong, I was right. I was like, oh, he looks like he's... Okay, well, he's gone now. He's fine now. I can tell when that guy's turned because it's clear and obvious. <sighs> that was fine. That was fine. I ran over him a couple times. It didn't even matter. So I guess I just have to be aware of it. Okay, so this room's secure. Who else do we burn? Where else are there zombies that might want to burn? Do I burn that guy? No. I burn the guy downstairs. Uh, yeah, I'm going to burn the guy downstairs because the guy downstairs is harder to spot than that guy who is in the mirror and I have really clear view of him before he becomes into my eyeline and I can see him so yeah all right so now that that guy didn't you know now I didn't need to burn that guy because I was right and I shot him in the face and he died I guess one shotgun shell kills him I guess I'm playing on easy mode so I, I guess I don't actually need to be scared the f well see that's my problem right as I get scared and I, um, what's the word? Yeah, all right, let's burn that one. Why well, didn't say it's not necessary to burn that one? Maybe I set that guy out with a headshot, but he's still there, so, all right, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go save. Uh, no, yeah, I'm gonna go save. Uh, but I'm probably I don't want to be able to keep that save. I'm gonna save just in case. Uh, the game crashes when I alt tab to make sure that the let's play saved. But okay, we're not. We're never going into that room again. That was one of the rules. So instead, we're going up here. But yeah. Uh, I, I'm like the the actual release of fear is always a letdown because I get so terrified because that's just my way of being uh, and my reaction to this kind of stuff. But the, the actual scare, apart from a short jump, is never as much as it could be. To, but I don't know. I can't. Anyone else? Who, that's that, that's how horror things work. And I know I'm not explaining anything new, but did I mess that up? Yeah, I messed the way to go. It's there. Where do I go? Oh, it's a door. It's that door. It's a door. I forgot it was a door. I thought there wasn't a... Whew. Yeah. We're going to save because although we didn't get much done in all those episodes... <gasps> JESUS CHRIST! JESUS CHRIST! JESUS CHRIST! Ah! Oh, oh. What did... Ah! Oh. <sighs> Ah! Uh.
Okay. Um. Was that was that a crimson hair? Huh? Oh. Oh. Was. Was. I'm saving. I'm dumb. Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess it's better to be on edge all the time than lull myself into a false. I'm just gonna keep the save and go play something else. Fuck. Thank you, I will. Okay. And goodbye, everyone. Fuck. <laughs>